My name is Mary Kelly. I live in Somerset, Massachusetts. We've lived here about 47 years. That's what she does all day, every day. I didn't burn it. We have five children and seven grandchildren. We had big family parties. She overdid it. You'll see that tonight. <laughs> the spread that she puts out and, and she does it because that's she's the epitome of a mom or grandmother. But it is tiring for her, especially if she goes into AFib. You know, all the prep work. I think I've been dealing with the AFib for about 20 years, 22 years. At first, I was busy with my family and, and my life. So it was just kind of a blip in the road and then it would get painful. I mean, I might have it two or three times a week or I might go a week without it or, and it would be in different lengths of time. It could be a half an hour, it could be a day. This is my Zachary. I remember once going up to pick up Zachary up at school, up at college. I was really bad. I was getting short of breath and, and almost feeling like I was going to black out. So I had to pull into a, a rest area and just kind of wait. Every time you go out, you're thinking, is she going to go into atrial fib today? Um, and if she goes into atrial fib, where are we going to end up? We're going to end up in the hospital. We have to go home. She has to rest. We spent some time in emergency rooms and a lot. It was not easy sitting around for two or three hours or four hours or five hours waiting to see if she's going to come out. Just the thought of that, the paddles, you know, I didn't want to witness that. Neither did my dad. So it, that was, I, I would say that was, uh, that'll stay with you. And she had to go through that. We started with the um, ablations. Sometimes it was just difficult to, for them to get the, the, the correct spot. After the fourth one, I thought, do I really want to play games with that? We made a very, very minor dent on her AFib. And at this point, it was quite frustrating. You know, it just so happened that I had a meeting with Boston Scientific and they came to me and said, we think we have figured out or at least have a good idea what to do. I didn't think she was going to have another ablation. I mean, I'm not sure I would have gone for a fourth or a fifth, um, but she trusted Dr. Sood. This is uh, the three-dimensional map both electrical and voltage of, of uh, Mary's left top chamber. What I do is set up these maps that you're seeing here. This software has given me a, a sort of technology which helps me do targeted ablation, ablate in the sort of areas that are actually important versus blindly anatomically doing uh, these procedures. This was the area where you had the most consistent high activity and that is where you can do targeted ablation versus just ablating you know willy-nilly all, all over that back wall. And Mary is now almost, almost a year out from this. She has very very brief episodes if any. She went from being in AFib every day in my 10 years of practice, I had never seen something like this happen in such a difficult to treat patient. I'm packing to leave in the morning for a cruise um, up to Maine and Canada. Can't wait. Long time coming. I probably couldn't put it into words. <laughs> it's nice to see that they're able to do this together. Yeah. Thank God. We're very lucky. Yes, we are. We're blessed. Love fest? I said we're blessed. Oh. It's not a love fest, you turkey. I know we're going on a cruise. Yeah, no. <laughs> Don't let me pop your bubble. But. This is what they should be doing at this stage in their life, is to be traveling and getting out there and not spending time at a doctor's office, worrying about what's going to happen next week or tomorrow, what's going to put her into AFib. So pretty today. Yeah. She can do everything she wants to do now. Yep. So it's very, it's, it's wonderful. I'm glad we found the solution. It's like yippee skippy, I'm, I'm all set now. I'll stand over here. Yep. Nobody knows how long they have, but to be able to, to share our time now at, this, at our age, that we can go off and not worry about something like that. It's a good feeling that our last years together are 
I think we have more years than that. I know. No, but I'm saying that just, you know, we can go and do things together. 